Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install or uninstall applications in the safe mode environment on Windows 10. So if you are just looking to go into safe mode and remove applications, maybe you're unable to do them in the normal Windows environment. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So we're going to jump right into it and first thing I would suggest would be to go into the description of my video. There will be three commands listed in my description. I want you guys to copy all of them so you can see each one is separated here by a space. So each one of these just copy directly from my description. Paste it into like a notepad file on your desktop. So if you don't know how to create a notepad file, just open up the start menu and type in notepad and then just save it to your desktop, so just paste it in, file, save as, and then just save it to the desktop somewhere. Again, because we're going to go into safe mode here, it might be a little easier just to have these commands directly on your desktop. You can delete these commands once we're done this tutorial, so you don't have to keep it on your desktop. But once you have it saved in some kind of format on your desktop, or you can also retrieve it from my description of my video in safe mode, but it might be a little easier just to make a notepad file here. You want to go open up the start menu, left click on the power icon on the left side, and now hold down the shift key on your keyboard while left clicking on restart one time. So again, hold down the shift key on your keyboard and then left click on restart. Once it says please wait, you can take your finger off of the shift key. So then just give it a moment here, it will take a couple seconds to load up the advanced options and underneath choose an option, select troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. Select advanced options and now select startup settings, change Windows startup behavior and now left click on restart. Okay, so underneath startup settings, you can select different options for safe mode. I would suggest selecting the enable safe mode with networking, which is the function 5 key. So don't tap the 5 key on your keyboard or whatever the corresponding number is in your case. Tap the F5 key. So again, it might be a different number in your case, but I'm going to be selecting the enable safe mode with networking option. So I'm just going to tap it one time here and it's going to start loading safe mode. Just please be patient. This will take a minute or so. Could take a couple minutes as well, so just please be patient. Okay, so now that we are in safe mode here, you just might have to give it a moment to load up. And then once you're in safe mode, you want to go select the start menu again, type in CMD, best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. Now we're going to open up that notepad file that had the commands in my description. You can also open up a web browser too and go in my description of my video as well, but it just find it easier to have it right on your desktop. And we're going to go do the first two commands. So we're going to start with the first command here. So the first two commands we're going to be copying and pasting in here are going to be enabling the Windows installer service in safe mode. And the third command is going to actually start the Windows installer service. So we're going to paste the first one in here. So you saw me just copy it. And then we're going to go up to the top part of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste, paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard, it should come back with the operation completed successfully. Next one, we're going to go copy that, same way. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it, left click on edit, and then paste it in. The output should say completed successfully as well. Please note, I just used the control C to copy this 
second command so you didn't see me actually right click and copy. I usually use my keyboard shortcuts but for these tutorials I like to visualize it a little bit easier for you guys. So uh, the third command we're going to just copy it, right click over it, left click on copy and then right click on the top part of the command prompt left click on edit and then we're just going to left click on paste, paste it in should start up the Windows installer service here so once that is done you can just close out of this command notepad file close out of here what suggests installing or uninstalling whatever applications you're having an issue with restart your device and that should be about it so just to show you guys everything will boot back up normally I'm just going to select the restart option here and it should boot us back into the normal Windows environment <laughs> So there you go guys, pretty straightforward tutorial there. So I do hope that this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.